Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel One on One. So CG Shortcuts, a Cinema 4D channel, has a, a great tutorial about cutting cucumber. So I thought uh, we could try it in Blender. Uh, they're using a lot of fancy tools that we don't have in Blender. I wish we had them, but we don't. So let's find different hacks we can use uh, to do this in Blender. Uh, maybe let me show you uh, the, the tools that they have that we don't have. Uh, first of all, their Voronoi Fracture, which is the equivalent to the cell fracture has more options you can use dots like this to create cuts or you can use uh, i think it was a curve to make cuts even like this straight cuts like that which you can't do in blender and then uh, uh he uses a rigid body system uh, which is something we have in blender and uh, the only thing that i wish we had in blender was this fall off force that he uses so you have uh, this fall off uh, that uh, you can animate and uh, then uh, the pieces can have their rigid body activated so they start out with no rigid body activation and then as this fall off moves along the animation so their rigid body dynamics is turned on we don't have that in blender i've tried several ways to approach it uh, using drivers but uh, uh, that's a bit tricky to do uh, you can do it but uh, it is just too much work to do then another thing he does here in the animation are these we're not creating interesting and moves he added a small force on the fall off so that when the physics is activated they go they also get pushed out by this force so that they can create an uh, interesting animation so i'm going to model a cucumber here just going to use a cube here add a subdivision surface and add maybe three cuts there and just do maybe another cut here i can also just uh then you can apply the subdivisions i can even you can even add more subdivisions to this uh like that so we have something like that uh, at this stage is where you want to uv unwrap and add materials so let's do that very quickly here i'm going to add a seam yeah we have something like that i have a cucumber texture let me just uh, use that yeah so that's our cucumber and yeah, we also want the inside parts okay so now let's do the slicing part we need to section this or to cut this into different slices we're just going to keep things simple and just select the slices we want directly then you can press v uh, this will separate these vertices like that and just don't move them anywhere just right click uh, to undo that and so we have these separate pieces if i select this have this piece here so yeah let's create another uv map uh, this will be for the slices just like that and uh and then here you can clear seams and then unwrap again and uh, we want seams for each of these slices now that we have that you can hit f so that each of these slices is filled uh, because before you do that they all just look like uh, empty tubes like that now you select everything hit f and they all get filled in so if i select uh, this again move it you can see that uh, the slice is now filled uh, i don't want these edges to be like that so i'm going to right click shade auto smooth and so that we have an auto smooth then the next thing is to hit p separate by loop loose parts so that we have all our slices like that and then right click origin to geometry that way everything is reset and i'm going to move this up now we can go up to object rigid body add active if i hit play they all fall down which is great and now i can add a plain rigid body by passive hit play and we have that so we want the slices to cut like we have here so to do that we just have to now uh, since this is a rigid body we can go under physics and animate these animate this uh, the animated properties you should start animated and then you turn off the animation so that when you play now we need to just copy these keyframes to the rest of the object so i can use ctrl l link animation data that way they all stop they all start deactivated and then they activated later so now i can select everything go back to object uh, relations make single user object animation because they were all using the same animation now we want each to have intimate independent animation now from there you have to offset this uh, this animation by bit uh, depending on how you want the animation to start so i want this this to start at frame 10 and uh, this to start at frame uh, 20 and uh, the next one should be 30 and the next one okay so now you can see that all the keyframes have been offset just like that so 
So now if I hit play, you can see we are slight slicing one by one just like that. And uh, we're also running into the same problem uh, where at some point they, they don't look as interesting because they're just dropping down directly. Now, in his version, he just parented a force onto this fall off tool uh, so that when the fall off happens, these slices are also pushed a bit so that they can create an interesting animation. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't have a fall off force like that. So what we're going to do is uh, we, we can just fake this by adding uh, an obstacle in the way that will push these. So this also has to be a rigid body object and type passive. Just have it in the way like that. That way these get pushed out are giving you a nice interesting animation just like that okay so now you can see how things are happening i've already also added materials to the inside but uh, that should be simple you just select any piece uh, that you have remember we also have these slices uv map uh, that we created before go into any of the slices select these faces and then assign unwrap this by adding a, a seam and then uv unwrapping that so that you have that seam as well do that for all the other pieces you have then we can work on the materials so since these are all uv unwrapped i can just select everything and i have this cucumber image uh, that looks like that i just need to now i just need to select these faces here you can select everything go to edit mode and just select the inside faces so now all we need is to have these faces just scale them down to fit and also make sure that they're all using the second UV map we created so just use slices just search for slices and Perfect. I have a set of knives here. Project file is going to be on my Patreon, including the knives. And I'll just have to unmake this. I think uh, the simpler way to unmake this would be to just unmake this coming down and then back up. Yeah, something like that. And I can repeat or parent this to an empty knife tool empty and then just unmake the empty so let's see This can also be a rigid body. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Project files are going to be in the description on my Patreon page, Gumroad, and my, my membership page.